Alright, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, hindi nyo ako nakikita today because I am not going to discuss any lesson today. But I am going to have a tutorial on how to make an interactive game using quizzes.com. not going to see me in this video but you are going to hear me but before we start kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko bakit hindi mo subukan <laughs> para naman makita mo ang videos ko so thank you dyan sa mga subscribers ko na naniniwala at nanonood pa rin ang videos ko na kahit na alam kong marami ng uploads na videos about grade 6 topics ay nanonood pa rin sila. Thank you everyone! So, kung ikaw hindi mo pa na-try, napanoorin ang video ko, try mo. Kahit isa lang, pwede mo din panoorin lahat. But anyway, thank you and let's start with our tutorial. So, quizzes is Sabi dito, quizzes allows you to conduct student-paced formative assessment in a fun and engaging way for students of all ages. So, imbis na pencil and paper test, we can also use this site, quizzes. Para rin siyang kahoot, ganun din yung gamit niya, very interactive very uh, attention grabber to students. Nawawala siguro yung antok ng bata. At the same time, bago sa kanila. So, let's start. So, punta tayo sa quizzes.com. Ayun, nakalagay na quizzes.com. So, here, ito yung homepage nila. Pwede tayo dito kung wala pa kayong account, sign up ka. At kung meron naman, you just click log in. So, kung kayo ay ask for, as a teacher. Okay, pwede ito for personal use. Kung parent ka, gusto mong gawin sa anak mo, sa mga pamangkin mo, pwede mo rin to. It's free. It's uh, free. It's a free site. Alam ko, kapag lang gusto mo nung mga ibang feature niya, saka ka lang, uh, saka lang may bayad. But anyway, so let's try the free uh, service of the quizzes.com and a free tools to teach and learn anything on any device in person or remotely so now let's get started or let's log in and so anyway kahit alin dyan pwede mong i-click so here so kung ikaw ay wala pang kung wala ka pa ditong account pwede ka mag sign up Pwedeng sign up using Google or pwedeng sign up using with email. But I already have an account. So, log in lang ako. And I logged in with my Gmail account. So, here, ang daming account ko. So, yan na. Naandito na tayo sa quizzes.com Ayan, slash admin. So, here, gagawa tayo. Actually, dito sa library, makikita mo na yun nagawa kong nagawa ko ng quiz. Meron na akong na-create. Ito, naibigay ko na sa student ko. Itong decimal numbers. Ito, ginawa ko lang a sample. So, now, let's create our quiz. Not only quiz, pwede ka rin gumawa ng lesson dito. So, ayan. Create tayo ng quiz. Sa pag-create ng quiz, Para rin lang siyang ordinary, para rin siyang kahot. Ganun lang din. So, now, let's choose a quiz name. Um, sample quiz. Sample online quiz. Alright. Next. Ay, wait. Ayan. Please select one or more subject subjects. So, dahil ako ay math teacher, 
select ko lang si math teacher. Ay, si mathematics. Ano si math teacher? Now, here, kung mapapansin nyo, meron kang choices kung anong gustong type mo ng quiz. Is it a multiple choice? Check box, fill, fill in the blank, poll, open-ended, or can you have... Hindi ko pa na-try to. Create a new lesson to sa lesson to. Now, let's try the check box. So, create tayo ng question. Alright, mathematics. Round. Two and thirty-four hundreds to the nearest tenths. Alright. So, actually, pwede yung choices mo ay picture. At pwede ka rin yung iyong yung, yung question ay pwede rin mo siyang i-upload. Pwede siyang image, pwede audio, pwede video. No? So, here, gawa na lang tayo. Lagay natin lahat ng sagot sa ihi. Alright. So, we have two and three tenths. Lagay natin two and four tenths. Two and thirty-four. Three hundred forty thousands. Two and thirty-four hundreds. Try natin. So, lagay natin. Chikan mo lang yung sagot. And then, click saved. Gawa lang tayo ng 5 questions para maitry natin. So, ito na yung question number 1. So, gawa ulit tayo ng another question. Alright. Check, check box na lang ulit para pare-parehas. Right? In words. Alright. So, ilagay natin one and, uh -huh. in words nga eh. One and five tenths. One point five. <laughs> one point one and five. One and five. One point five tenths. Alright. So, ayan. Lagay natin yung sagot. Checkan natin yung sagot. And then, eto nga pala ito. Baka kasi malimutan natin. Meron siyang time din. Pwede mong pili, piliin kung 10 seconds. Lagay pala natin masyado matagal yung 40 seconds. Lagay lang natin 20 seconds. And then, save. Pwede rin siyang, ayan, magtag ka ng topic. Kaya, sabi ko sa inyo, not all available. Kasi, tira mo, nakalagay dito, upgrade to super. Graduate from your basic plan. Kasi, yung plan lang natin kanina is basic plan that is only for free. So, kapag tinaklik natin yung go super. Pag kinlik mo yung go super, meron na siyang bayad. Na, pag, ayan ang iyong bayad, o. Oh. Hindi ko makikita per month, eto. Pag annual, $24. Dollars. Pero, eto yung mga pwede mong makreate kapag naka-plan ka ng super. Pero, since you are not going to need this tools, balik tayo sa basic. So, ayan then Click Save. So, ilang question na tayo. Dalawa. Create pa tayo na isa. Madali na lang. Two and two hundred two hundred five thousands in symbol. What is So let's try two and two hundred five thousands. Two and two hundred five. Two and two 
five. All right. Here is this is question number three. Oh, kalo ko na katatlo na tayo kanina. Let's see how many questions do we have. Question. Let's have question number four. Yung pinakamadali na lang round. Twenty-five thousand six hundred seventy-eight to the nearest to the nearest hundreds. Cool number three hundreds. Let's have two five six zero zero. Two five seven zero zero two five six seven zero two five zero 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 or going out in two six zero zero zero. This is the answer. Um number na lalagay natin. So let's have another. Kwa patay ng isang question. What is the sum of two and fifteen hundreds and ten and one thousands? The answer is two and. So, ayan, may five question na tayo. Eh, nawala na ang aking... Ayun, <laughs> kala ko nawala na. So, we have five questions here. And then, lagyan natin ng design naman ito. Wala kasi ako ibang design. Pare. Mom, cut your super mom. <laughs> And then... Lagay natin kung pang anong grade. Pwede naman kasi siya sa pang grade 4 to grade 6. Pwede siyang gamitin. Saved. So, ayan. And then, click. Done. So, ngayon, ito na yung iyong sample online quiz. Pwede mo siyang i-assign na homework sa inyong Google Classroom. Ayan, lagay mo yung deadline. Pwede mo siyang ilagay sa Google Classroom. Pero gusto ko kasi yung live. So, let's have, let's start a live quiz. So, classic lang tayo. So, dito, kung mapapansin nyo, meron kang choices. Pick your mode. Pag, kapag team ang pinili mo, participants answer at their own pace but scores are grouped by team. Kaya nga team eh. Ito namang test, no frills mode that, ah, sorry, a no frills mode that ideal for conducting a very a serious assessment. Kaya lang, it requires login. So, kailangan mag-login at saka kailangan may account din ang mga students. Pero ito yung kalimitang ginagamit ko. Part participants answer at their own pace, compete individually and have a blast along the way. So, ito na lang ang ginagamit ko. Ilagay natin. Continue. So, halimbawa, ngayon ako magpapakwiz. Ayan yung gagawin nyo. To play this quiz, number one, use any device to open. So, kailangan ilagay sa search engine student or pumunta sila sa joinmyquiz.com So, gawin natin yan. Thank you.